Good afternoon. We're back in business. Uh, winter break is over. I hope that you caught the video from last week as we were talking about school bus safety because that really is a very important aspect of uh, us taking care of our students. There's something else that's brand new right now though that I want you to become familiar with. You may see over my shoulder that there's a sign that is describing the room I'm in as a health center operated by Blue Ridge Health. If you had been in this room one week ago, it would not look like it does today. It would have been one great big classroom and we would have had desks inside of it, but we had some people come in and they have redesigned, put in a couple of special rooms for medical examination so that our students here at the middle school can come and can be treated for illnesses just like you were going to a regular doctor's office. So we kind of have a doctor's office here at Swain Middle School. Now I want to introduce you to a couple of people who are helping to run this. One face you may be familiar with, and we're, I'm just going to let Rosalind and then Mandy kind of introduce themselves, and then we're gonna ask them some questions about Blue Ridge Health. So Rosalind, tell us what your position is and uh, maybe how you came to be part of this. Okay, I'm Rosalind Robinson, I'm an RN, have been for quite some time, been employed with Blue Ridge for three years, and they asked if I would be willing to help with this initiative, and I'm like, how can I turn down my home community to come help? So excited to be here and get this going and keep our kids in school by being able to see them here. And Rosalind, I appreciate you saying it that way too because that really is one of our primary goals. We do want to care for our, for our students and staff, but the biggest thing is we need our kids to stay in school all of the time. Now you said, Rosalind, that you had been with Blue Ridge Health for about three years, but I happen to know that this facility only opened on Monday. Correct. Right, so that tells me that Blue Ridge Health is bigger than just this health center, right? Blue Ridge Health is a very big organization. They actually started back in the 1960s as a migrant farm work clinic in Hendersonville, North Carolina. The mission and the goal to be able to reach those underserved, those people who had no access to care. And from that, they have just grown exponentially. They have, I believe, 13 school-based health clinics now and probably about 13 regular clinics. So we have regular clinics that operate just like a doctor's office, and that's where I've been working at the location that's in Silva, just below Harris Hospital. Um, so we continue to grow, and we're excited to now be out in Swain County. And we are excited that you're here, and all I can see uh, it, for the future is that this will grow because I believe it's a great opportunity. Now, you said, Silva, that means that probably Jackson County Schools is accessing this. I've got a buddy over in Polk County. His name is Aaron Green. He's superintendent. There's a great guy, and I know that they have uh, facilities there. Um, Henderson County, Bo Caldwell superintendent there, and I know that they have um, some health centers in Henderson. Can you think of any other places, or do I need to slide over? to Mandy and let her describe other places. What do you, you think? You may need to slide to Mandy, what? who's the school-based help manager. Well, let's trade. <laughs> All right. Mandy, why don't you tell us your last name, tell us just a little bit about you, and then tell us any other places where there may be health centers like this. Yes, so I'm Mandy Slagle. I'm the practice manager for the school-based health centers. I've been with Blue Ridge for 25 years and in school-based health for 20 of that. This has just become a, a passion. It's been my mission for the time that I've worked at Blue Ridge. Um, amongst the counties that you've spoken about, we are also in Buncombe and in Rutherford County. So right now, it sounds like there are about six different counties who have uh, health centers in schools and also uh, in the community. And if, it's, if I'm not mistaken, Mandy, not only is there a health center here, but there is one at the health department now? Mm -hmm. Tell me just a little bit about that. Is that just for anyone? And how can you use that? So at the local health department here, Blue Ridge just opened this week as well. So they can utilize the, the practice there on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And it's, it's just like a regular doctor's office. This, this room is a regular doctor's office, correct? How can a student come to this facility and be served? And what kind of things can you do? Okay, so our 
for this health centers for the students here at Swain Middle School. Um, staff can also access us as well. So we can test kids for strep flu, mono, write prescriptions, do sports physicals, complete physicals, pretty much anything that can be done at a regular doctor's office can be done here in the school. And the kids do not miss school to go to the doctor and the parents don't miss work. And again, let's go back to that idea, Amanda. The, the, the point of this is we want to keep students in school every way that we can. Now, I would love to be able to serve every single student in Swain County at this facility, but this is not large enough, and there's only two of you right now. And so what we're doing is we're going to limit just a little bit, um, and only students from the middle school or from the pre-K are going to be allowed to come into this facility. We're going to ask that parents take all other children or teenagers to the center at the health department. Now, if they do that, if they go to the health department, isn't it just like being served right here, though? It is. Same services are provided. And all of the health records that are used are created either here or there are on one great big system, so it really doesn't matter, right? Right. Okay, now, you... you said that if a student has uh, an ear infection, right, mm -hmm. that they can come here and they can be treated. But I don't see a doctor. I see a wonderful nurse, and I see a great practitioner here, but I don't see a doctor. How do we see a doctor? So we have a telehealth unit here that we are using. It's a pilot program here at Swain Middle, um, and so it's actually in the exam room there. So you take, you have the components that you can use to look in the eyes in the throat and Roz can be the hands for the provider via the internet. No, oh, wait a minute, you're telling me that you've got something in here that you could put in my, I'm, you're not gonna put it in my ear, but <laughs> you could put it in a child's ear and it will transmit what's in their ear to somewhere else, right? Absolutely. I want you to sh show me that. <laughs> I may have to let Roz show Or Rosalind, you come and show me. <laughs> this is totally uh, 22nd century mm -hmm. to me. So here's our nice iPad, and so we log in, and then we get a physician or a provider that joins us, and they um, lead the exam and tell us what they, you know, want to look in the right ear, want to look in the left ear. So then we would use this device, and we would just insert that into the ear, and then it transmits a picture of that ear onto the provider's screen that they're looking at, and they can see. And then that provider would determine if there's an issue along with you because you would be checking for temperature and yes. all of the typical things that a nurse would take care of yes. for the provider. And then let's say that little Mark Jr. Um, <laughs> did indeed have an ear infection and needed an antibiotic. That provider could either call in or electronically send a prescription yes. that a parent could pick up later after work, right? Yes, absolutely. And then during the day, we would be able to keep the student here, maybe, probably, because we could give them some Tylenol or some ibuprofen or something, help them to feel better until they can get home. Absolutely. So we've truly kept the student in school, in school. and that's what we're after. Um, we've got the forms, right, Mandy? We've got the forms. They're out. We need to get those back in so that we can begin to serve more and more more and more students about this. Uh, Y'all need to know that the only person who is even moderately comfortable on camera today is me. So I have to pull Mandy over and say, it's okay, we've got this. And we're going to do a more full length um, description, you could call it a mini documentary, on this facility and what it brings to Swain County because there are so many more components that we're not even able to touch on today. But the important thing I want you to know is that we are moving ahead with the care of our students in ways that a lot of school systems are not able to do. And it's because of Blue Ridge Health and because of a grant that you all have helped um, acquire. And so, if you have questions, don't hesitate to call us, 488-3129, and I will put you in touch with somebody who has the answers, because I promise it's not me. <laughs> and for a whole lot more information, let me give you a phone number where you might be able to reach somebody at Blue Ridge Health, and also a website you can go to. If you want to call the Swain Clinic at the Health Department, you can use 341-1060. That was 341-1060. 
Or you can go on the internet and look up brchs.com. That's Blue Ridge Community Health Services, brchs.com. And you can find out a world of information from either of those. <laughs> and until then, or until the next time that you see something about this, thank you all for being part of Swain County Schools. I hope that you're as excited about this as I am. You have a great day, and God bless you.